Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fixum and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining and jumping in on this wonderful Sunday. Sunday is when this video is going to be made. You're probably going to be seeing this Wednesday uh, around 2.30. This video is going to go live. However, this video isn't about the Sunday. It's about the fact that gambling and video games has looked more like a casino than anything else. Ever since Battle Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out. Uh, I want to say sometime last year, there has been a trickle effect in the gaming industry when it comes to microtransactions in video games and how they have been affected since then because of that. Uh, we, we, we see it in the way how EA had to respond and how they had to talk to, um, how they had to, talk to Disney about what's going on with the product. We see it with the government in Belgium and other countries and other places that are trying to ban it. Uh, these in-game microtransactions and loot boxes or these surprise mechanics as they would like you to believe what they're called but we all know that's bull crap but in new news 2k has now put slot machines into their games and it's not it's not like gambling gambling per, I'm like per se like if you <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you're not putting money you're not taking money, putting it into the game, and you're getting money back. It's nothing like that. You're getting a prize, but it's simulated gambling. It's simulating. And somebody said something to me uh, not too long ago that I thought that was um, I thought it was really interesting. I um, like, thought it was really interesting when I was watching. Actually, I was watching on Inside Gaming. Um, it's a great channel that I watch. They said if you have simulated violence, the ESRB rates it. How might like, rates it M? If you had simulated sex, it's rated M. You know, if you had simulated drug use. But simulated gambling gets a pass for some reason. Why? Because it makes a lot of money. 2017, it was reported that EA made over $800 million off of FIFA Ultimate Team. Off of FIFA Ultimate Team, $800 million. That's a lot of freaking money. And mind you, Activision already makes buku money off Call of Duty and and I believe they own Candy Crush. I believe they own Candy Crush. But I thought it was just interesting the fact that with all this stuff going on, with all this stuff that happens, like it's it, it's 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 almost like how you would think that after Battlefront 2 came out, people would step back off and make it look like a casino. But GTA 5 doubled down on it and they make, created a whole new content which was just a casino. And now 2K is coming out. And now they have gambling mechanics and slot machine mechanics in the game, which I thought was interesting. Polygon actually put an article out on it that talked about, um, uh, 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 I'm like that talked to, I'm like talked about the game, and you know, Take Two is the parent company. I'm sorry, Take Two is the parent company of 2K. So here's here's what they said. Peggy says, as much we are very aware that it may get too close for comfort for some people. And that is part of the internal discussion that Peggy is having for the moment, they wrote. The games industry is evolving constantly and rapidly in recent years. As a rating, orga I'm like, as a rating organization, we need to ensure that these developers are, reflecting, are reflected in our classification criteria. We do not base our decision on the content of a single trailer, but we will properly assess how the rating system in parentheses and the video game industry in general should assess these concerns and that's it's it's slightly concerning just because I understand that you don't want to make a judgment based off of a trailer and I, I, I get it there's it's it's more to it but I, I you know I'll link the trailer to you guys so you guys can see it and stuff like that but it, it comes I guess my main point of this video it comes a time where you, I, I feel like something has to give where somebody has to put their foot down. It'd be like enough is enough. Like, you can go across and look at article after article and see how the people who are addicted to gambling become addicted to gambling because they do stuff like this in games and they keep doing it over and over and over again. Like, I had a conversation with one of my coworkers and I told him, I was like, it's like, well, fake a FIFA Ultimate Team. You want to get that Ronaldo? They was like, we got this all star Ronaldo. He's a 99. He was like, but he's coming out in the pack. You put money in, you don't get him, you try again. Don't get him, try again. And it's, well, I'm going to get him this time, I'm going to get him this time. And I just think, all in all, it, it, it comes a time where we got to we, we gotta do better. 
We got to do better as an industry. We got to do better as a company because ESRB is is taking that good old time, and I ain't trying to rely on them. So that's all I got to say. Just wanted to make a short snippet about it. As a community, we need to continue talking about these things. We need to continue to complain. <laughs> to put these things out on front street. But that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for listening. Continue to be aware. Protect your money. Protect your time. And don't let these people take you take advantage of you. That's all I got. To the next episode. Peace.